there, I'm Mariana from Crafting Happiness and on this channel I post crochet tutorials and patterns every week. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the basket weave stitch. This is a double sided pattern that looks great on baby blankets, afghans, shawls and more. To begin chain 41 or any multiples of 8 chains plus 1. Start first row by double crocheting in the fifth chain from the hook. Then make a double crochet in each of the remaining chains. And this is how your first row looks like. Now turn your work and chain 3 to begin the second row and this counts as a double crochet. Next we'll be making a front post double crochet and to make a front post double crochet you yarn over, insert your hook from front to back around the stitch post from the previous row, like so. Yarn over and pull up a loop and make sure the loop uh, is quite loose otherwise your stitches will curl forward and now you have three loops on your hook Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, then yarn over and pull through two remaining loops. And this is how you make the front post uh, double crochet. Now let's make uh, three more. And next we'll be making a back post double crochet. And to make a back post double crochet, yarn over and this time we are going from the back to front around the stitch post. Yarn over and pull up a loop and again uh, make sure the loop is quite loose. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And this is how you make a back post double crochet. So now make three more. And this is what we have so far. And keep alternating uh, four post, uh, front post double crochet stitches with four back post double crochet stitches across the row until you have one stitch left and this is what uh, we have so far and you can see I alternated the four uh, front post double crochet stitches with the four back post double crochet stitches all the way until I have one uh, stitch left and then I'll go ahead and double crochet in that stitch and this is your second row. Now turn and chain three. And again, this counts as a double crochet. And then we'll be making uh, four back post double crochet stitches. So make sure the loop you pull is uh, quite loose, like I said before. And now uh, from four front post double crochet stitches. And don't worry if it curls, uh, this is normal. Uh, once you uh, block your blanket, um, they will uh, loosen up. Okay, and now um, we will going to alternate making four back post double crochet stitches with four front post double crochet stitches across the row until we have one stitch left. 
and uh, now I've reached the end I have one stitch left and as you can see I kept alternating my back post double crochet stitches with the front post double crochet stitches four of each and this is how uh, it looks like so what we do we double crochet in the next and last stitch and we are done with uh, the third row and now we are going to turn and uh, repeat this third row so we do the same order of stitches we start with four back post double crochet Okay, and next we make four uh, front post double crochet. And this is how it looks so far. Or you can see we're starting a new uh, block. They look like uh, tiny blocks and this is the beginning of a new block and all you have to do is alternate uh, the four back post double crochet with four front post double crochet until you have a uh, one a stitch left and now uh, I reach uh, the end of the row I have one stitch left and I'm going to double crochet in it and this is your fourth row and um, you can see how I alternated the four back post double crochet with the four front post double crochet now we are going to start row five uh, by turning and chaining three and I know it looks like we are making the same uh, stitches but this time we are going to switch the order in which we make those stitches and that will create the basket weave pattern uh, if you want a simple method i have a different video where i'll show you the easiest way to make a basket weave stitch so i'll put a link in the description for you but let's continue with this one and we will start by making four front post double crochet this time so let's make those four post double crochet and uh, for they are followed by four back post double crochet And again, uh, keep alternating uh, four front post double crochet stitches with uh, four back post double crochet stitches across the row until you have uh, one stitch left. I have now reached the end of the row and I have uh, one stitch left. So now I'm going to double crochet in it. And this is my uh, fifth row. And now you can clearly see the pattern, the basket weave stitch pattern forming. And uh, we will do one more row, uh, which is identical to row 5. Uh, and then I'll show you uh, the repeat sequence so you can complete your blanket. So chain 3. And then, like we did before, I start making four front post double crochet. Then 
then uh, make a four back post double crochet. And again, uh, keep alternating, making the four front post double crochet, followed by the four back post double crochet until you have one stitch left. And now I've reached the end of my uh, row. I have one stitch, I'm going to double crochet in it. And this is the sixth row. And all you have to do now to continue with this pattern is repeat rows 3, 4, 5 and 6 until you have the required length. And this is how you crochet the basket weave stitch. If you want to be notified of future crochet tutorials and patterns, consider subscribing to Crafting Happiness channel and hit the notification bell besides the subscribe button. Happy crocheting!